and welcome to the next video in the series where I am building a home music studio in my garden. In the previous couple of videos we completed the installation of the EPDM rubber roof and the breather membrane on the walls. The next step towards getting the structure watertight is to install the door and window. The first step of which is to remove the base plate where the door will be going. It's best to keep the base plate in one length and cut this out later as it makes the whole wall a lot more structurally sound and rigid when you're putting it up. Now when it comes to installing the door and window, I'm pretty much using standard building techniques. One of the first things that you'll do is put some flashing tape around the edges of the window to help um, create this watertight seal. Um, you can use this Tyvek flexible tape which is actually very good but it is quite expensive and comes in long strips. If you've got several windows or some large bifold doors it's worth getting. Um, in my case I opted for some Butty Bond which is cheaper um, but as you can see it's not quite as flexible so I'm having to sort of cut and do a couple of patches around the corners um, just to get that complete seal. Now we'll start with the window. The first step is to cut the window seal down to size. I decided to go for a straight cut rather than a rebated cut as I plan to create a boxed in effect with the window and door trim and a straight cut seal flush with the edge of the window will look nicer in this scenario. Check out the next video where we start to look at the cladding to see how this came out. I apply a thick bead of silicone underneath the window seal followed by another layer on top along the edge of the lip. When you place the window itself down onto the seal, you'll bar up against this lip and it will create a really good watertight seal. I then use a level and some packing pieces to straighten everything up and then when happy, applied some screws through the window frame, through the packing pieces and into the timber frame. The next step is to install the glass panels. You'll also need some packing pieces for this, which are often supplied with the door or window. Now, depending on how the windows open, there is a particular method to placing the packing pieces so that over time the glass in the frame doesn't sag and become difficult to open. You can see here I've placed them in the top left and the bottom right hand corners. Imagine you create a frame using four pieces of wood fixed in each corner. It has the potential to flex and be very wobbly. But if you now put a diagonal brace across two opposite corners, it will become very stiff. This is the similar theory here with the window. Once you have the glass in place, you can reinsert the beading. It's important to put the beading back in the same way it came out, then you'll know it will fit correctly. When you have small beads like this on the sides, I actually found it really tricky to start with, especially if you've not done this before to get the beading back into place. With the longer beads, it's actually a lot easier because it's flexible. The key trick here is to get the two corners into position and then bash down on the sides and you'll find everything just pops and clicks back in really quickly. You can be fairly firm with it, but just obviously not too firm um, and risk damaging the window. I happen to use a rubber mallet, which I, um, I own, but you can get special glazing hammers which, which pretty much do the same job. Now that both windows are done, I move on to the door which is pretty much exactly the same process.
Next I go around all of the gaps and fill it with acoustic expanding foam. You only need to fill this about 50% as the rest will, will come from the expansion as it cures. I left it about a day um, before trimming off the excess, which you can do with a Stanley knife um, and larger parts will actually just break away. If you do find that you get some of this expanding foam over the door or the window, um, it is actually really messy stuff to try and remove. The best thing to do is to leave it, let it dry and then it will just snap off or peel off very easily. I now go around the edges of the door and window and apply a nice thick layer of silicone to complete the watertight seal. That's the door and window installation completed and now the garden room is watertight or at least temporarily. The next step will be to apply the cladding and then I'll remove the protective film from the door and window and then we'll see the final finished look of the exterior. That will be in the next video. So if you like this video please do like, subscribe and share. Until next time, stay safe. Thanks for watching.